name is Mia. And I'm Midian. We are in Dubai College. We are in year 7. And our topic is... The Physics of Hula Hoops. Was it just pure skill? No, it was because of three forces. Friction, torque, and centrifugal force. Torque is a twisting outward force that rotates an object on an axis. In, get, in this case, you are the axis. It is needed to keep the centripetal force going. Centripetal force is the force that allows an object to move in a curve around the axis. For example, the hula hoop around your body. Friction is the force generated when your body and the hoop come in contact. Up thrust helps keep the hoop up. It will keep moving depending on the angular momentum. The angular momentum is the rotational equivalent of mass. Objects with more mass are more likely to keep moving. Momentum must be maintained, otherwise gravity will pull it down. To get started, just toss the hoop around your waist. This is imparting energy through physical action. Friction against your body and air slows it down and gravity tries to bring it down. To keep it up, you have to apply force to the inside of the hoop. You must provide enough outward force to overcome gravity and keep the hoop horizontal. To keep it going, you need to move it at an angle related to the surface of the hoop. This creates torque and conserves the hoop's angular momentum. Timing is an important factor. Your hip movement has to be slightly ahead of the hoop, pushing it along. 